Next project off the pile is a repair on this ridiculously robust Weber grill. Uh, it's kind of funny, my wife and I purchased this thing back in 1996, so this thing's nearly 30 years old. This is a charcoal grill, of course, and that little propane tank on the right is to light the charcoals. This is the second propane tank. The first one became too old to refill. I would say we use this grill a lot. Of course, that's a relative term, but we probably use it 50, 60 times a year uh, through the winter and quite a bit in the summer. Can't say it's brand new, but all the repairs I've had to do have typically been less than a half hour or so a pop. And all the years we've owned it, it's spent nearly every day of its life outdoors. Sometimes it's been sheltered from the weather a little bit. We do have a cover that goes over it. But every winter it's been outdoors, uh, save for two, maybe three. So this thing has just been great, and I recommend these to anybody. They last forever. One repair we made was the clips that hold this thing that holds the basket to the bowl uh, rusted away. So I just used household wire. I think that's 12 gauge wire that would come out of a piece of Romex. And I decided to use copper because it was easier to work with and I figured it would weather uh, better than steel. Also, over the years, the clips that hold this bolt to the stretcher tube inside the tube here uh, rusted away, so I have straps underneath that are tying them together. Here you can see the baskets that hold the charcoal. <laughs> uh, look at how worn away they are. They've been used so many times. and. Uh, the grate that supports the charcoal, we have two of them, and I simply crisscross them so that the charcoals have to burn a little bit more before they fall through and are wasted. And finally, the repair of interest is that these sweeper vanes down here are so corroded away they're very weak and barely work. So we uh, went out to Weber and ordered a new kit. To clean it, you don't want to hurt the enameled interior, so I just use a piece of wood. And there it is scraped out. Well, and here's the kit, and I personally think it's pretty awesome. The instructions are all pictures, and they're pretty intuitive, easy enough to follow. Here are the three steel fins, and they number them one, two, and three. And if you look at them, you can see that the slots in them are all at different angles. And these slots are made to take this receptor here, which is really heavy steel and actually goes down through this way and then there's a plate on the bottom so this is fin number one which goes on the top then fin number two goes like so and then fin number three has this wonky little tab on it and that tab when you go to put this on wedges up against the inside of these two ears locking this in place. Kind of clever. And then at the end of it all, this plate goes on the bottom side of the grill, and this is a quarter turn. It only goes in one way, and then you turn it, and it stays locked. Very clever. And there are the three tabs assembled. Well, here's the old one. You can see how crappy it is. Getting it out was not easy. I was not able to turn this and pull it out. It was seized. So using my multi-master type tool, I had to make four cuts on either side of these two ears before I could get the, uh, the, the remnants of this shaft out of the way. And then I welded it out with a hammer. And this piece, boy, didn't want to come away. <laughs> Again, a little prying with the hammer got it to loosen up. And I think if you get the bracket out of the way that holds the ash bucket, then you'll be able to use a hacksaw. And the installation of the new is pretty straightforward. I was able to snake my fingers up through one of the vent holes and hold the three veins in place and with my thumb hold the plate underneath in place. And what wasn't apparent from the instructions was you install this handle upside down and when you rotate it 180 degrees the tab goes from the bottom to the top and it locks the plate on the underside snug up against the plate on the top. And she worked. 
and check out these two baskets that hold the charcoal. Look at how gnarly they are from years and years and years of reuse. That's steel, by the way. Well, and there she is, all back together, hopefully to give us service for several more years to come. I don't know how much longer we'll be able to keep this old girl going, but uh, boy, I'll tell you, we love it. We've had it a long time, and I think it's a great grill for anybody out there looking for one.